Good morning, esteemed guests, colleagues, and fellow educators. First and foremost, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our distinguished keynote speakers, Dr. Julieta Paras, Chet NCR Regional Director, and Dr. Lisa Libertin Magana, OIC Chief Education Program Specialist of Chet NCR. I would like to also take this opportunity to say thank you to Mr. Darwin Labayandoy, Odon Manager at Novotel Manila Araneta Center, our esteemed panel of discussants who will be joining us today, Director Charlene Zabala Patin, DOT NCR Regional Director, Ms. Blessy Cruz, the Dynamic Marketing Leader from Togo, and of course, Mr. Erwin M. Donya the third, the Marketing Strategist and Brand Communicator. As we embark on this day of learning and collaboration, let us remember that the future of hospitality and tourism lies in our hands. Together, through innovation, sustainability, and commitment to excellence, we can shape a brighter, more resilient future for our students, institutions, and industry. I would like to thank you all for being here today. Let us make this event a significant step forward in building a sustainable future for hospitality and tourism education. I would like to also take this opportunity to present uh, the present President's report. Number one, uh, I'm pleased to announce that Host Code NCR is now officially recognized as a duly SEC registered non-profit organization. This milestone represents our collective commitment to formalizing our operations and advancing our goals as an organization dedicated to the betterment of hospitality and tourism education. Number two, the opening of bank account through Security Bank. We have secured, successfully opened an account for host code NCR, ensuring financial transparency and efficiency in managing the organization's funds. This move enables us to better serve our members and execute our programs more effectively. And of course, institutional membership, the host code, Chen NCR, our group uh, continues to welcome new institutional members. Our growing network now includes some of the leading higher education institutions, HEIs in NCR, committed to elevating the standards of hospitality and tourism education. This expansion strengthens our collaborative efforts and broadens the opportunities available to our members. Number four is uh, research. Dr. Ajitesh Kumar um, would like to also share that um, the Taylor's uh, University research head recently visited 3D University of Asia and uh, we discussed possible research collaborations with host code and NCR members. This potential partnership will open doors for our faculty and students to engage in meaningful research that can influence policy and drive improvements in tourism and hospitality. For future plans, we are also committed to strengthening collaboration with DOT and of course Commission on Higher Education Chair uh, with Ms. Sela, with Dean Joy spearheading these efforts, we aim to develop deeper ties that will support both the industry and the academia. This partnership will foster innovation, promote sustainability, and address the growing needs of hospitality and tourism sectors. Another thing that I'm excited about is the roundtable discussion series. I am pleased to announce that we will continue our roundtable discussion series where we discuss critical hospitality and tourism academic related matters. These discussions provide a valuable platform for knowledge exchange and collaborative problem solving. Our commitment to these conversations ensures that we stay at the forefront of educational innovation and relevance. I would like to also propose uh, the host code CHED NCR Synergy Framework uh, for all the deans and department heads uh, attending right now. So I have uh, five uh, units 
that is uh, uh, essential. If you are interested to join, please do so. So the first unit will be the Collaborative Academic Industry Strategy. This is where um, curriculum enhancement, industry engagement, and job placement will be part of this uh, unit. Number two is the Global Exposure and Professional Development, uh, where this unit looks at global exposure, exchange programs, international internship, professional development uh, for our faculty. And number three, the Research, Innovation, and Sustainability Hub, uh, where we would like to increase or improve research collaborating between uh, industry friends, with DOT, among others. Uh, you know, our faculty is taking MBA, doctorate. Uh, if they would like to look at data or to do other research topics, they can join this unit. The number four is the policy advocacy. This is where uh, it campaigns sustainable tourism policies. We're going to look at the industry standards. We align educational programs with government and industry regulation. And number five, uh, if you are into the lifelong learning and career advancement, this is where continuous learning and career growth support is uh, observed. So again, I would like to encourage uh, all my colleagues, the deans and the assistant deans to join each uh, framework unit presented. So as we, as closing, as we embark on this day of learning and collaboration, let us remember that the future of hospitality and tourism lies in our hands together through innovation, sustainability, and commitment to excellence. We can shape a brighter, more resilient future for our students, institutions, and industry. Thank you all for being here today. Let's make this event a significant step forward in building a sustainable future for hospitality and tourism education. Thank you and good morning.